So um, here's a breakdown of um, a section of the Coldplay song Midnight using Logic's own sounds. Um, so the first thing I did was I went to songbpm.com and I looked up the song Midnight by Coldplay and right there it showed me that the BPM is 127. So I, I set this to 127. And then um, the first thing I heard in that section that's uh, kind of late in the last uh, fifth of the song, um, where it kind of has this instrumental section with lots of cool synthesizers and stuff, is that the main elements I was really hearing were that really stood out to me were uh, a bass or a sort of a sub bass just hitting on quarter notes and um, a kick drum. So the bass to me sounded like kind of like this, um, like I chose a sub bass. And then that just repeats. And then the kick drum that goes along with that is just going also at quarter notes. And then um, what I chose for this using Logic's own sound was in instruments, I just navigated to sculpture, um, stereo, and within sculpture, um, you see this menu up here, and there's a section called Modeled Bass, and I just went straight to a sub bass. And I could have layered some other bass with it too, which would sound pretty cool, but for now, I'm just using that sub bass sound. And then for the uh, kick drum, uh, all I did was I went to um, and opened a new software instrument and then chose Electronic Drum Kit and 808 Flex. And then I just played the note C which sounds like this. And then uh, that I just quantized to quarter notes as well. And then um, there was sort of a pad type of sound uh, sustaining. Um, so I chose Alchemy from Instruments, the synthesizer called Alchemy right there. And within Alchemy, it's a great synthesizer, I think, especially for mid to high range sounds. Um, and it has this nice hierarchy of categories that sort of filter out which sound you find on the far right, moving from left to right. So I started with pads because I wanted a sustained chord to be held. And then I just chose layered, ambient, all timbres. And um, I ended up just pick, picking this bright shimmer sweep and that sounds like this by itself. In fact, I'll just get the keyboard to show here. And I just repeated those same two chords. If you notice, I also played a, a low octave here um, in the left hand. And then I just uh, raised it up an octave every other. So this one plays the lower set of two chords, and this one plays the same two chords an octave higher. That was just a style choice. It's not exactly what they do in the song, but it was just to get that effect. And usually you need to um, mix pad, in my opinion, you need to mix pad sounds a little bit softer in relation to other sounds. Like the kick is pretty loud and the sub bass is actually not that loud because I'm trying to match the sub bass, like get it heard along with the kick. So for this type of sub bass sound, I needed to bring it way down so that it didn't overpower the kick. Anyway, um, and then this, uh, which to me is sort of the coolest sound in, in this particular example, um, sounds like this, and I'm going to show the keyboard as it plays.
and I, I quantize that to 16th notes um, here. I probably could have done it in 8th notes, but I, it just felt to me like there were some rhythms that um, might have been within 16th note divisions. And so then um, the whole thing together, um, oh, and by the way, this sound is also from Alchemy, and I used arpeggiated synths, ambient, all, anthem chord arp for this example. Thank you for watching.